everybody and welcome to Digital Discovery, our exploration of the collections of the museum for you, our early learners. My name is Liz and I'm the Early Education Specialist here at Berkshire Museum and I'm going to guide you on today's discovery. So let's just jump right on in. and welcome to Digital Discovery. Our topic today is going to be mountain lions. Now have you guys ever seen a mountain lion? Yes? No? How about is there a mountain lion in your flower bushes right now? How about is there a mountain lion asleep at the end of your bed? Say you might have a house cat asleep at the end of your bed but despite what he or she thinks they're not a mountain lion. Guys, there are over 40 names for the mountain lion, and they all mean the same cat. The scientific name for mountain lion is Puma Concolor, basically meaning cat of many names. Yeah, they can be called mountain lions, but also cougars, panthers, pumas, pentes, elion, catamount, and so many more. Did you know that people give mountain lions these different names based on where they live? Yeah, in Southern California, it's really popular to call them just mountain lions. But in Florida, you might hear them say panther, or around the Great Lakes, cougar. Do you guys know any other animal that goes by a different name? At Berkshire Museum, we have our own mountain lion. You can see him right here. Now, our mountain lion is an example of our collection of taxidermy. Now, taxidermy is a big word, but all it means is that when the mountain lion died, we took him and preserved him, and so he can live forever. It just makes him last a whole lot longer. It lets you and me get to explore what a mountain lion looks like, but in a totally safe environment. So some facts about mountain lions is that they are, yes, a very large breed of cat. But mountain lions are large tan cats, and usually they have black coloring or spots, depending, um, on their ears, on their tails, and on their snout, or otherwise known as a nose. <laughs> yeah, so you can usually tell that they're these kind of cats based on their coloring. Mountain lions are also carnivores, which means they don't like to eat vegetables. They go, blah, that's gross. I'm just going to eat my chicken. And, and you know what? If it works for them, it works for them. A fun fact about mountain lions is that they actually don't roar. Unlike tigers and lions, which are other types of large cats, they simply howl, hiss, purr, or growl like just a regular house cat does. How about for today's digital discovery adventure, we get crafty by exploring how different feet for different animals help them survive. Some help them climb, run fast, swim well. How do your feet help you? How about you use materials from around your home to make footprints of all sorts of animals? Grab that paint and some sponges, cardboard, or even your own feet and get crafty. Our shoes leaf prints, so does animal feet. But that was all we had for today, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.